These enchants make you better. It sounds weird, but it's actually true. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we'll be talking about some weapon enchants that teach you deep open combat and flip your view on the game entirely. Instead of viewing combat as just moves and M1s, you'll begin to see them as damage values, range, and attack opportunities. Today I'll be tackling 4 enchants that teach you certain values in PvP and will condition your gameplay to overall improve. Again, this has a lot to do with my own experience and others I have asked, but I really do think that trying out these enchants will help you out in the long run. The first enchant of interest is a little bit of a weird one. Tears of Eden Kite, a fairly new enchant introduced in Layer 2, is considered one of the hardest ones to use. The effect of this enchant will only become active once you land a flourish, and that can be very hard to rely on. If you're a new player, it's very easy to choose an enchant that is always active and doing something, or something that just increases your damage. But please, try out Tears of Eden Kite. A flourish is something that occurs when you kick your target away after a certain amount of M1s. The animation, swing speed, and M1s required to trigger a flourish are different for each weapon type. You'll be rewarded with high-powered tracking projection that do a ton of damage. Of course, the enchant damage is great, but the main idea Tears of Eden Kai builds upon is landing your flourishes. With this specific weapon enchant, you'll feel pressure to hit those flourishes, and that will improve your fainting, mantra fainting, and overall combat approach. On the other hand, if you choose to ignore flourishing, you might as well use a different enchant. In a separate video, I'll explain why flourishes are important and how you can use them creatively. Again, Tears of Eden Kai forces you to improve your overall fainting and reminds you that flourishing can be important. Curse of the Bloodthirsty is another option I'd pick if I wanted to teach a player the pure basics of deep looking combat. When missing an attack, you lose 1% of your HP, but on a successful hit, you deal 10% more damage and drain their blood. This negative effect does not happen when you miss a crit. With Bloodthirsty, you are actively punished for impatience and rewarded for landing precise M1s. Range is very important in this game, and Bloodthirsty will teach you that. Even if somebody parries, dodges, or blocks your Bloodthirsty attacks, you will not damage yourself, and that is good range. By having this restriction or downside in place, you are not only learning about your weapon's range, but it also forces you to play patiently. Whenever I want to pick up a new weapon, I will try out Bloodthirsty. Because of this, my knowledge of the weapon's M1 range is improved, and I feel like I should be critting more often. Again, we don't lose HP if we miss a critical attack, so why not use this? Bloodthirsty, a very important tool that builds upon your knowledge of range and patience. Sometimes it's worth taking damage to win that fight. If you're a new player, patience and risk taking can be taught with Bloodthirsty. If you're experienced, I would highly recommend this enchant if you want to learn a new weapon. Now the final two enchants are much of the same. The Obfuscation enchant and Stone enchant reward players for attacking blocks. Obfuscation is considered one of the best enchants in the game because it's quite powerful. When hitting a blocking opponent, you deal 50% of your basic M1. For instance, if I was going to deal 8%, I hit your block and I deal half of that instead. It's pretty crazy. Stone increases the amount of posture damage dealt against blocks and makes block breaking much more common. These last two enchants teach players a lot about pressure and help them prioritize block breaking and chip damage to defeat their target. Everybody and every build can benefit by using these enchants because pressure is a very important tool. That's all for now, but I think these enchants teach players the best. Feel free to leave comments down below on what you think new players should try out to improve their PvP combat. That's all for now, and make sure to like and subscribe, because we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. Thanks, and have a good one.